Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sabine Sharif, Consultant Nuclear Medicine in Pet City, currently working with Spring Diagnostics, Hydro. So today I am here to talk about uh, the aspects regarding the nuclear medicine, how the nuclear medicine is being useful in our general practice and uh, how the nuclear medicine is divided to the diagnostic as well as the therapeutic uh, components and what are the uh, services we provide, what are the machines we use, what are the scans we do. So basically nuclear medicine as we all know is the usage of uh, radioactive substances in its appropriate amount, in the appropriate route and that too in the appropriate uh, dosage in the correct time. It is delivered to diagnose the disease or to the treatment of the disease. So coming to the diagnostic part, we offer PET CT services as well as normal camera services. The PET CT services are mainly concerned with oncology part, but rather than oncology, we have very good role in diagnosing the infected inflammatory part. For example, a prosthesis which is getting infected or you have a stent which has got infected or you have a skull base osteomyelitis which is infected and Coming to the diagnostic part with gamma camera, we use gamma camera for a wide variety of scans which covers almost all the organs of our body starting from the head to toe. We have the bone scan which is mainly used as an oncology purpose, whole body planar bone scan for diagnosis of any metastatic bone lesions. Also we have a three phase bone scintigraphy where we use the bone uh, scintigraphy in three different phases to assess the vascularity. Coming to the bipedal perfusion scintigraphy, you have uh, uh, cardiac uh, scans which is both in PET as well as SPECT part is there. SPECT means gamma camera. So in SPECT part, we mainly use cardiac scans for assessing the bipedal perfusion and in PET part, we use it for assessing the inflammatory myocarditis as well as you can use it for cardiac perfusion assessment. We have the thyroid, parathyroid scans for the assessment of hyperthyroidism and hyperparathyroidism. And you have the DMSA DTPA scans, DMSA scans for your assessing the cortical function of the kidneys, whether there is any kidney scarring, how is the size of the kidney, or whether there is an ectopically placed kidney, you can find with the DMSA scan. And you have a DTPA scan for assessing the function. How is the GFR of the kidney? How much is the kidney functioning? And is there any hydronephrosis? Is there any PUJ obstruction? All these you can uh, easily find out with the DMSA, a DGPA scan. Nuclear medicine was initially confined only for the treatment of thyroid cancer using iodine. But rather than thyroid cancer, now we, are step, we have stepped into almost all the cancer treatments where we use a radiotracy in lutetium, which is tagged with the ligand and it is lutetium PSMA or lutetium dot at age where you use PSMA for the prostate cancer where the corresponding part which is used for diagnosis of prostate cancer is with the allium PSMA and we have a lutetium dot therapy where the corresponding diagnostic part is the allium dot at age for diagnosing the neuroendocrine tumors. So this is in short about how we plan our patients which are the scans to be done which are the patients which you have to take for therapy and which are the services which we are offering. So nuclear medicine, the only thing which we have to be concerned is that we don't have to worry about the radiation much because the dosage which we are using is much lesser compared to the dosage of radiation which we are getting from the environment and we are using the radiation for a good purpose and we are using it uh, up to the safe limits only. Only contraindication is for uh, pregnant ladies where we are not using nuclear medicine procedures so this is in short about the services which we provide. Thank you.